Today's topic of discussion is the important question or question bank for the subject design of machine elements. In this video I have covered three chapters and in next video I will be covering the remaining chapters. So the first chapter introduction to design. So the questions are define machine design, steps involved in general design procedure, types of loads acting on machine elements, define fatigue example give example of fatigue failure in machine component, define not sensitivity, factor of safety, state factors governing factor of safety, define FOS for brittle and ductile loading or material, stress concentration, methods to reduce stress concentration with sketches, state its effect on material in case of static loading and cyclic loading. Factors that govern the selection of material while designing machine component. Theory of elastic failure. Aesthetic or it can be asked Morgan's color code in aesthetics. Ergonomics or it can be asked state scope of ergonomics in machine elements. Then identify the material and its component. I have written here two examples which were asked in examination. But different examples can be asked. So, if you do it properly with this reference, you can solve other examples also. X10, CR18, NI9, MO4, SI2, X772, W18, CR4 and V1. So, these were questions related to the first chapter. Now, we will do the next chapter. That is chapter number 2. So, chapter number 2. Design of joints, levers and offset links. So the questions related to the design procedure or numericals that is socket and spigot, quarter joint, knuckle joint, turnbuckle, hand lever, foot lever and C-clamp. Next example explain failure of quarter in bending. Why taper is provided to quarter state function of split pin in knuckle joint. State three different ways of application of levers in engineering practice. Here the design procedure or numericals it can come as a full design or at a as a part design. Certain part of the design procedure can be asked or it can come also as a full design procedure. So next chapter that is chapter number three. Design of shaft key and coupling. Difference between shaft, axle and spindle. Classifications of keys prove that for square key crushing stress is twice shearing stress. This question is important. Classification of shaft coupling. Comparison between rigid and flexible coupling on the following points that is purpose, alignment, shock and vibration, deflection, cost and suitability. Next question difference between coupling and clutch. Design consideration for a gear drive, beam strength for spur gear teeth that is Levis equation, write Levis equation for strength of gear tooth, give meaning of each term. Then next question, different causes of gear tooth failure, then design or the numericals, muff coupling or sleeve coupling, this question is important, protective type of flange coupling. Shafts subjected to twisting movement only. Shafts subjected to both twisting and bending movement with shock loading. Shaft with two pulleys subjected to both twisting and bending movement. Comparison of hollow shaft and solid shaft and design of keys. These numericals have come in examination several times. So these questions are important. So here I have covered totally three chapters. Okay. That is design of shaft, key and coupling and the second chapter that is design of joint, lever and offset link and the first chapter that is introduction to design. So hope you like the video. We will again meet in the next video very soon. Till then goodbye and best of luck for your examination.